Is this tractor going back this evening? Life is slowly returning to normal for Robert Smart and his family. In June last year, they were forcefully evicted from their farm by the government of then-president Robert Mugabe. They came, these people, armed with tear gas and bullets and trashed everybody out of here. Our people in the compound, us in the houses, us at the offices here, and we were away six or seven months. During the time they were away, looters took equipment and personal belongings the Smart family had spent years accumulating. What had been left behind was destroyed. Then in November, when Emerson Nangagwa took office after ousting Mugabe with the help of the military, he ordered that the Smarts, whose story had been widely reported in the media, be given their farm back. We were actually gobsmacked when they said, you go back. And uh, that's when we were, obviously we were quite frightened to come back after being shot at. And they said, we will make sure that you're safe, which they did. The military came out and they cleared everybody off. And they, they did, they made sure that all, not just ourselves, but the community and our workers, they're all safe. This is the welcome Robert and Darren received from the community on the day they returned home. We are all happy because the community was gaining from Mr. Smart. As soon as they reached the farm, the father and son duo got to planting. Quite a small one, yeah. Because of the timing of everything, they essentially missed the maize and tobacco season, and that meant that they, that they could only grow potatoes. Now, they've already brought in some six tons from the patch of land that I'm standing on, and they're hoping that by the end of the season, after they've reaped everything, and that includes the fields behind me or the green that you see, that they'll bring in some 120 tons to take to market. <laughs> that may be a considerable amount, but it comes nowhere near to what they could have harvested had they not been forced off their land. Even before this ordeal, the smarts were downscaled from 8,000 hectares to 700 hectares of land during Mugabe's controversial land reform policy in the early 2000s. But they say leaving Zimbabwe has never been an option for them. Even though all the hardships we went through uh, those days, uh, we've never said that we are afraid of living in Zimbabwe. Actually, uh, a lot of people, when we were evicted in June, they said, come across, we'll buy a plane tickets for you. Come over to UK, come to America. We said, no, no, we're staying home. We're going to fight for our home. We're going to make sure we try to get back. Now they have their home back, and they say they are looking forward to a bright future for Zimbabwe.